and in this video we're going to demonstrate for you a saliva drug test in this case a UKDT 6 drug tube that screens for common 6 drugs the uh, combination on this particular test is cannabis, cocaine, opiates, amphetamine, methadone and benzodiazepines. Now saliva or oral fluid drug testing is about to be introduced in the UK at roadside screens. In addition to alcohol testing the police will now be able to ask any driver for a drug screen. Now, initially this is going to include cannabis and cocaine but as it's rolled out nationwide it will be extended to screen for other drugs including opiates, amphetamine and certain prescription drugs including methadone and benzodiazepine tranquilizers, which if taken in excess or high levels can obviously cause sedation and impairment with driving ability. Now saliva swab tube is an extremely easy format to perform. As you can see the collection swab is attached to a stick which is integral into the lid of the test tube and by closing the device together you discharge the saliva or fluid that's been collected on the swab here onto the test membranes which are embedded around the tube thus initiating the test. Now the important thing to be aware of when using these tests although it's called a swab the collector has to be absolutely saturated in saliva you can't just swab this around the inside or lining of the mouth and expect it to collect sufficient saliva to run all six drug membranes that are included in this test it's the commonest error that we see when these tests are being performed the swab being simply too dry and insufficient liquid being released when the test is closed to discharge all six test membranes. So what we're going to do now is take that swab and saturate it in oral fluid so you can see how the test runs. Okay so what we've done now is saturate the swab on the lid stick completely in saliva. The swab itself is completely inert there is no chemical constituent to it, there's no taste to it. It is quite firm when it's first given to the recipient to saturate and by the time sufficient saliva has been saturated into the swab it is extremely soft and if they bite it with their teeth it should give completely. That's a good indicator that sufficient saliva has been uh, absorbed onto the swab. So to run the test now all that is required is that the swab goes into the body of the test tube and then it locks down and you want to close it nice and firmly and there the swab is completely into the tube and what we can do now is on this section you'll see peel from right to left this is where you remove the label to show you the individual tests that are embedded circumferentially around the swab cube. Now just laying that flat on a table it's in the upright position what I can start to see now is the pink dye starting to travel from the base of the tube where the saliva has been discharged when the screw lid was tightened and if I just bring that to the camera to show you perhaps you can see here on this OPI membrane the saliva travelling upwards towards the coding for each of these drug groups which is shown with the international three letter codes THC for cannabis, AMP for amphetamine, BANZO so that's not a three digit code actually that's just an abbreviation for benzodiazepines and here we have methadone actually written as well rather than the coding MTD on this particular one now the test takes 10 minutes to develop so from the time the swab is screwed down into the test tube you start your timer and you're basically waiting for a full 10 minutes to determine any positive results 
but as with all drug tests where you're looking at a negative binding technology, negative results can develop a lot quicker than the 10 minutes. And if we just show you an example of that here on this amphetamine test, here you've got interpretation on the base of this test, which is very helpful, two lines being negative, and here you've got a nice clear control and test line showing at a little over two minutes. Compare that to this BZO test membrane, you'll see this is taking a lot longer to develop, although you've got a clear control line coming up there. Moving it round to the methadone test, again, clear negative showing already, the OPI test, still a lot of dye in the background of this test membrane, but still clearly a control and test line showing, same on the COC and the THC, clear control and test line showing. So the one we're waiting to develop on here is the benzodiazepine test result. She's still showing very faintly, we're just starting to see a test line coming up there for a negative result, but we do need to allow that a full 10 minutes before you would interpret a positive result being shown by the absence of a test line in the presence of a control line. So there you have it, that's the UK drug testing, six drugs saliva swab tube test. These are available from UK drug testing. We do sell these individually, but they are usually sold as a pack of 25 tests. They come individually foil wrapped, usually have long expiry dates, some approaching two years point of delivery. They're very easy to perform, it really is a single procedure in terms of the collection of saliva and then combining the, the lid into the test tube, that's all you have to do, there's no titrating of saliva or having to touch the saliva. That swab tube is completely sealed now and there's going to be no leakage or contamination of anywhere. So a very nice easy test to perform. The sample can be collected directly in front of the collector so there's little risk of either contamination, adulteration or uh, swapping of the, the sample in any way because it's a directly observed sample that's taken. So a very nice, clean, easy to perform six drug saliva drug screening test kit.